Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a look for less. So some of you may know that my husband and I are just wrapping up or kind of at the tail end of a half bath remodel. So we purchased an antique dresser off Marketplace and we are currently flipping that into a bathroom vanity. So this obviously is a dresser, so we're gonna have an abundance of storage in there. And if you look in my bathroom, Currently, the way it is right now, on the back wall, I have a couple shelving units with some baskets, and that's currently my only storage in that bathroom. Now that I'm gonna have an abundance with the vanity, I can get rid of those shelves and get rid of the baskets. So, if I do that, then obviously I'm gonna have a bunch of plain walls. And as you can see, my bathroom is black and white white shiplap on the bottom and they are black walls and I love it. I always wanted black walls. So we did it in the half bath. So I started looking through the internet and um, trying to get an idea of what I want to do. So I came across, of course, anthropology, who doesn't, right? And I found these two panels, which I thought were, they caught my eye. They were really cute. But as you can see, they're $2,000 for one Panel, one panel, one, one, $2,000. Can you believe it? I can't afford that, there's no way. I was like, one panel, that's crazy. And then I started reading a little bit more in the description and understandably, I found out why they're $2,000 per panel. These are handmade, they are made by artists, so I get it, I totally understand. And it made me, kind of put me at ease a little bit more knowing that because I'm like, who's gonna pay $2,000 for a piece of wall art, right? So, I wish I had the money. I really wish I had 2,000 or even $4,000 to you know, pay the wonderful artist for their prints, but I just don't. So I decided, well, I'm gonna use this as an inspiration and I'm gonna come up with my own wall art. So I knew I wanted two panels in that back wall. And of course, I'm not gonna copy somebody's art. So I decided to think about what I like. I love ginkgo leaves. I love ginkgo trees. So that's what I decided to do. So I decided to just do a quick search on Google for free ginkgo stem silhouettes. So we're definitely gonna do this project. I'm hoping to stay under like $30, but I'll put up on the screen right here, my total at the end, cause I'm not quite sure of it right now, but I'll put it up right here. And this is what we're gonna spend on two panels for my bathroom. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a 1 by 12 by 8 pine board that I'm going to cut two pieces at 36 inches. Then I'm going to give a good sand. And then I'm going to stain it with Early American. I'm going to try to mirror the finish of our vanity so it has a nice cohesive look in the bathroom. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and cut it. Okay, I just did all the weeding, and what that is is just taking out the parts that you don't need on your vinyl sheet, and I'm using this as a stencil, so I had to take out the leaves, and guys, I am so super excited to get these 
on the panels and up in the bathroom. Okay, so our next step here, after we have our wood stained, and I went through and I kind of roughed it up with the sander, um, I'm going to now, that that's done, I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge all over the front of this because in my experience, um, the vinyl stencils do not like to stick to oil-based stain on wood. They just, it just doesn't stick very well for me. I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna seal this whole thing with Mod Podge first, let that dry, and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll apply our vinyl stencil. Okay, now that we got our board all finished, prepped and ready, with the Mod Podge that's already fully dry. Now we can take our stencil and I'm going to use contact paper and put my stencil on the contact paper, remove the back, the backing of the stencil, and then we can go ahead and start applying it to the board. stencil on both boards and I'm going to show you the secret to crisp lines when you do a stencil and that secret is Mod Podge. It's probably not a secret to a lot of people who do to do stenciling but if you don't and this is new then that's awesome. We learned something new today. So what I'm going to do is take Mod Podge on a paintbrush and I'm just going to put it all in the areas where the stencil is. Now I'm not doing this like very neat, like straight lines or whatnot, because my whole goal is to get this Mod Podge really built up around the lines of the stencil or the outline of the stencil, because that's going to act like a barrier to our paint when we put our paint on here. So that's my whole goal. I'm gonna do this to both boards and then I'm gonna let it completely dry and then we can move on to painting. Okay, so now we're ready to start painting now that our Mod Podge is dry. And you can use a couple of different um, techniques here. Um, the, you can use one of these little spouncing tools and mine is definitely falling apart and I need a new one and definitely well loved. Um, as soon as you know we're able to go out, I will replenish some of my supplies. So you can do it. Um, the best way to do this, it, it definitely is with like a sponge. Um, type brush. You can also get like these um, really cheap sponge brushes as well. And even though we have already 
even though we've Mod Podged, you still want to start out really lightly around the edges of your pitcher with your spout brush or your foam brush, whatever you want to call it. This just makes sure that it's definitely not going to bleed underneath. You still don't want to really apply a lot of pressure. We're not going for 100% absolute perfection, but if you take a couple steps and take your time, then I think, you know, I mean, for me anyways, if I just take a little bit of time and step back, my end product turns out the way I want it to. So once we do this to both, both uh, pictures, we're gonna let the paint dry and then we'll come back again and do this kind of spouncing technique until we get the coverage that we're looking for. Okay, so now the paint is almost fully dry, but we don't have to wait to have it fully dry to take off the vinyl. Some people like to take it off immediately after their last coat. I usually like to leave it on until it's almost dry or dry. But you're going to want to also have some sort of tool, a pin or something to help you peel back some of the small pieces in the middle. And I also like to have a pair of scissors. Um, sometimes you just wanna um, cut the vinyl so you don't have really long, huge, huge strips when you're pulling them back. So here we go, let's see how we did. Nice clean lines. No paint bleed at all, so that's good. And this is what I mean about having a pair of scissors handy. It starts to lift like this and it's a really big piece, you can go in and snip it. Okay, last part of our project. Now we're going to frame out each of our panels and we're gonna use one by twos. That's it. So I'm just gonna cut these down. I'm gonna frame these out and these panels should be ready to go and ready to be hung in that bathroom. So let's get it done. guys well that's a wrap let us know what you think about our art pieces and our half bath do they look good does it make it look too dark in there or what do you think let us know what your thoughts are
And also, just a reminder, our videos are still here for inspiration and no way are these videos encouraging anyone to go out and buy these items. We are really working within a lot of scraps and stuff that we already have in our garage and this is, how, this is what we're doing now. So please stay safe and know that this video is going to be up on the on the internet for a while. So we're, you know, I don't plan on taking it down. So, you know, use it as a bookmark, come back and, you know, we're allowed to go out and go shopping and there you go. You'll have the steps. So anyways, really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and give us a thumbs up if you like it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.